If you're a new real estate agent, you're gonna wanna watch this video. Learn from my mistakes, and ultimately, you'll save years of hardship and make a lot more money a lot faster. Let's jump into it. What's happening, everybody? If you haven't been to this channel before, my name is Steve. I'm with Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, brokers, and investors grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. Look, if you're a new real estate agent, you're gonna wanna watch this video in its entirety. And I promise you, if you follow this plan of action, you're gonna save years of hardship and heartache in your real estate business. You're gonna save a lot of time, effort, energy, have better quality life, and ultimately make more money in doing so. Look, I've worked with hundreds of real estate agents over the years and interviewed hundreds of real estate agents over the years. And I can tell you one of the main things that real estate agents are looking for when they're going to sign up for a brokerage are leads. Now, when I ask them what kind of leads they're looking for, many times they're saying, you know, we, I just want some leads coming in to work with some buyers and show properties. And that was my biggest mistake working in real estate, especially my first two years, was just a high level concentration on working buyer leads. Look, I get it, as a new real estate agent, I was hungry, I wanted to hit the ground running, and I really was kind of lost. I didn't have any kind of game plan on exactly what I was gonna do, who I was gonna be working with, how to get leads and so forth. And my first train of thought was, okay, I, I'm gonna go acquire a buy, find a buyer, find them a house, uh, get them the house, close on it, and get a commission. At the time, I was doing all the quote unquote right things. You know, I was holding open houses, I was uh, knocking on doors and apartment complexes to generate buyer leads. I had a bunch of Craigslist ads running. So I was doing all these things that I thought was the right way to market to generate uh, to generate some ac action and activity to acquire buyer leads and it, it did it worked I soon came to realize after about a couple of years of doing this that you know I was making okay money But I was getting burnt out and I knew I really was not utilizing my time correctly And I knew that there had to be a better way You know it sucks as a real estate agent when you really don't know where your next transaction is going to come from You really you don't have that prediction or you really don't have that system in place It can be scary but there is a predictable way to conduct yourself in the real estate business so you ultimately know roughly how much money you're gonna make every single month and every single year it wasn't until a couple years into my real estate career I learned the power of leverage and there's really two main ways in the real estate industry for leverage number one are listings number two are people look if you list real estate you're not necessarily driving around uh, people opening up doors and really spending a lot of time if you know if you're working with buyers you could spend Days weeks and even months working with one buyer showing them five ten Thirty homes and you know if you break down how much time effort and energy is going into that and you break it down even on a per hour basis and and calculate even you know expenditure for gas and so forth how much you're really making per hour at the end of the day now working with active sellers at the end of the day you can work with a lot of them you can work with dozens even hundreds of sellers all at the same time you know working with sellers at the end of the day you're putting up on the market you're getting good photos video you're marketing those properties you have a team maybe helping you out market the properties as well you're pricing them correctly and then you're just fielding the offers that come in and negotiating with other agents and or buyers on those properties now the cool part is if you generate enough listings you you will start getting buyer leads from these listings now many times in the beginning you're gonna take the buyer leads from the listings and go and show them properties and do what you normally do but over time if you do want a quality of life you're gonna probably want to go ahead and outsource those leads that are generated off of your inventory which leads me into my next thing is people the power of leverage of people let's say for example you had an administrative assistant and this assistant was doing all the necessary things like your mailers your Facebook campaigns your uh, Craigslist ads your email campaigns if this person is consistently doing these things on a daily or weekly basis you're gonna generate business from their tasks without you necessarily doing anything so this person that you're paying say ten dollars an hour to help you grow and market your business the return on investment could just be exponential that's one way of power of leverage of a person the second way is maybe a buyer's agent if you're generating enough leads from your inventory you may want to consider hiring a buyer's agent when you get to that certain point you know you could do a 50 50 split with this person 
all leads coming in, go to that buyer's agent, they're running around like you used to, showing properties and so forth, and they're generating commission dollars in your pocket with essentially not doing much besides keeping your inventory pipeline filled up of listings. You see, for me, quality of life is extremely important. And I put a lot of focus in on that. That was part of my business planning strategy was quality of life, was the ability to not have to work weekends. And when you get to this point, you also have the ability and luxury of actually picking and choosing clients that you wanna work with. Look, at the end of the day, it's okay working with buyers. And I have a lot of real estate agents that I work with that love working with buyers, and that is okay. But you have to, if you want to have the quality of life and the leverage of your time, you have to incorporate a strategy to get listings. On average, 10% of your inventory should close per month. So for example, if you have 10 listings in your inventory at any given month, one should close per month. So if you are a new real estate agent or even a veteran real estate agent, you wanna change things up and you wanna have a better quality of life, a better business plan, then you need to incorporate listings in your real estate strategy. There are so many different niche markets that you can go after for listings. Um, at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna include two of them. There's one for short sales as well as one for foreclosures. Go check those out and I'll see you over there and I appreciate the support. Oh.